But the best of luck and everybody down there at the New York. Uh, right, let's uh, talk about uh, other stuff, uh, shall we? This morning, here's a story for you. It's Toby at breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield. This morning, three goats. Yes, say you heard it right. Three goats are settling back into life after being taken from a home in Doncaster last week. The sisters Jade and Caitlin were left devastated to find that their pygmy goats, Henry, Eugene and Elliot, had been taken from their garden. Jade had bought the goats as a form of therapy for little sister Caitlin, who has autism. Luckily, they were returned safe and sound, so our reporter, Harriet Pullen, went to meet them. So I'm in the garden with sisters Jade and Caitlin and their three insanely cute pygmy goats. This one's Eugene, and he's definitely the leader of them all. This one's Henry, and he's the naughtiest. He, I came out at 3 a.m. the other night because he was trying to knock the bench over after Elliot got stuck in front of it. And this is Elliot. This one's actually mine. I've got Elliot again. <laughs> it was Jade's idea to get the goats as a therapeutic tool for her younger sister, Caitlin, who has autism. At the moment, she's quite a recluse, so it was kind of to get her out away from her iPad and actually interact with people and give her something to talk about, be passionate about. She doesn't shut up about the goats. Constantly send people, sends people pictures to the fact they'll reply back and say, OK, that's enough. Last week, their world was turned upside down when all three goats were taken from the garden. I get up at six for work and I come out and feed them first thing. And usually they're shouting at me by then. It's a race to feed them so they don't wake everyone up. With no noise, I came in went into their house and it was just empty there were no goats nothing and she came in and said the goats were gone the boys are gone the guys the boys have been taken and i thought she was joking then when i was on the phone i was like i've got to be dreaming this there's no way this has actually happened i didn't know what happened to him i didn't know what to do because i love him so much i've never actually i don't think i've got this attached to an animal before always get a handful and feed them if you want to as well but they're very very pushy with it as you can see <laughs> So getting them back, oh, yeah. they're back here, they're yes. happy. Oh. <laughs> How does that make you both feel? I don't think we're getting them back. Did you? <laughs> no. I kept, I kept saying to mum and dad, you know we're not, we're not going to get them back, are we? I kept saying you don't have to sugarcoat it. I know there's no way we're getting them back. This kind of thing is only a miracle if you get an animal back. But I just, I didn't believe it when someone said that they've got them, and it was just amazing. Well, Jade Jones is on the phone now. Good morning, Jade. Good morning. I must have been terrible when you realised that they'd gone. How did um, how did Caitlin deal with it? Uh, not very well. Um, so basically, I went inside the house and said the uh, boys have gone, um, and straight away Caitlin was up, which isn't isn't normal for Kate. She takes a while to come round. Um, she was straight on the phone to her mum and dad. Uh, she was absolutely breaking her heart. Um, she just she didn't know what to do. And, and then you found them. They came back. Yes, they did. It was a, a miracle. I honestly didn't think we would see them again. So what happened? Um, so basically, I got a phone call off a unknown number um, saying my brothers found uh, your goats tied up. Um, I've got them here. Is there a, a reward? And straight away, I said, "Yeah, hundred pounds." Um, so he hung up, called back and said, that's not enough, uh, I want 250. Right. Um, so straight away, yeah, 250 sign. Uh, I said, can you meet me um, at the local uh, shopping market or come to my house? He said no. Um, he wanted to meet, meet me at Bentley Pit Top, which is, you know, an area yeah. quite recluse. Um, and he said, like, I'll see you there in 20 minutes. So it was just a race to get to the cash machine, get the cash, and just go and swap it all over. I mean, that sounds very iffy, doesn't it? Are you, are, have you reported it, Jade? Um, yes, uh, the police are aware. Yeah. Um, so, but... Um, well, I'll, I'll, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'll leave that there, then. If the Bobbies are involved, I'm gonna leave, let's not talk about that. Let's talk, because I think well, that might be a story we come back to. Let's talk about Caitlin, because I'm really interested in... Uh, the fact that the, the, the dealing with animals it opens her up, it, it, it's mu makes her much more accessible. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, so basically, like I say, she, she's very, she's got a lot of social anxiety, going out's a big issue. Um, she'd much rather just stay inside, mm. not, have, not have to interact. Um, but for the goats, uh, yesterday she spent most of the day outside, um, not even batting an eyelid. Uh, if I say to her, we need to go and get hay, 
so they go she's yeah. like yep fine i'll go um so it's just it's just getting her out even if it's just for that half an hour to go and grab a bale of hay it, it's it's progress it's baby steps it's getting there and that's the way isn't it? it's just finding a way that, that you can engage people and that's that's what that's the kind of help that some people need i'm just yeah. looking here actually i've just been told you've not only got three goats have you <laughs> No. <laughs> Are you a farmer, Jade? You got I wish. I wish I was. <laughs> 32 chickens, three goats, Thir- two... 38 chickens. 38 chickens, I apologise. Yeah. Uh, three goats, th- three dogs. Yep. yep. Two geese. Yep. What's this? A snail? Yeah, a snail. What, are they the big African snails? No, just a normal snail. We found it and its uh, shell was funny, so it would have died in the wild, so it lives with us now. <laughs> and, and I've been told now you've adopted a bird. Uh, what what else is going to come? Honestly, if I had the space, I'd have so <laughs> have so much. Yeah. We'd love 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 an alpaca, but no space. <laughs> and, and does Caitlin uh, take responsibility for, for all the animals? No, um, she's never re- never responded to an animal like the goat. Ah. Kind of, I wanted to go down a, a dog route for her, but with three dogs. Yeah, you know, it was kind of already there. She she's not had one from a puppy, so to speak. She had Maggie for a puppy for a couple of months, but then I moved moved away with her. Um, so I kind of wanted to go down the dog route, but obviously no dogs because three already. And I was looking into it, and goats were the the fan animal of dogs. <laughs> now we've got we've got three dogs. Any more than that, you are you are not the leader of that pack anymore. I can assure you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't fancy another yeah. one. Well, listen, I'm nope. really pleased that she's got them back. I think that's fantastic news. Yeah, um, it's fantastic. I mean, it, it's heartbreaking. There's a, there's a lady in West Yorkshire. She's got seven missing. I mean, I've posted on my uh, Facebook wall for people to share that. Mm. She's she's still not got them back, and that's seven. Why, then? I suppose they're easier to pinch because they stay outside. Yeah, I guess so, and they can yeah. turn, them, turn them around quick, I guess. I guess they've not, not got the fear of... Um, microchips with dogs uh, it's very rare that people get the goats microchips it's not something that's uh, done but yeah. luckily I'm, I'm, I'm getting mine done on friday so yeah, good good and the best of luck with all the um with anything else that they're looking into jade thanks ever so much indeed for talking to us this morning that's jade marsh there who did that then who was going around pinching people's goats i mean that's just ridiculous you, you listen to caitlin and, and, and how much she enjoys Working with those girls. You know, people really don't think about the consequences of their actions, do they? Toby Foster at breakfast. On BBC Radio Sheffield.